Hi everyone, it's Miss Latimer, and we're going to read another nonfiction book today called A Plant's Beast Feast by Melissa Carroll. So I want you to look at the photograph on the front, front cover here and think about the title, A Plant's Beast Feast. And I want you to think about what this book might be about. I'm looking at the front cover and I'm seeing what I think is a plant right here. And I see a kind of like a grasshopper on top. And I'm wondering, it says a plant's beast feast. Well, I know that beasts are like creatures and a feast is when you eat something. So I wonder if this plant is going to eat this bug. What do you think? All right, let's read to find out. And after we're done reading, you're going to answer some comprehension questions about the book. So remember to have that brain turned on and to be thinking and asking yourself questions while we read. <clears throat> Many animals eat plants. And guess what? Some plants eat animals. <gasps> the pitcher plant does this. That must have been the plant on the front cover. It kills and eats bugs for food. Hmm. This plant lives in warm, rainy forests. It has a leaf that is shaped like a pitcher. The plant catches bugs in this special leaf. Colorful leaves with a pitcher shape. That's what the caption says for the photograph. And when we're done reading, I'm gonna have you guys watch a video of the pitcher plant eating a bug. So. Stay with me until the very end. Bringing in bugs. It's the heading for this page. Pitcher plants get bugs to come to them. The plants can be orange, pink, or red. Bugs like bright colors. They go to the plants because these colors attract them. Here's a photograph of the pitcher plant, and there's like an ant going in there. Remind ourselves, why, why is the ant going in there? What attracted him to that plant? And the caption says, ant on a bright plant. Some pitcher plants are dark green or brown. These plants have a different way to bring in bugs. These plants have a smell. Bugs follow the smell, they go to the plant. So now we know two ways that the plant attracts insects. Remind yourselves of what those two ways are. Photograph here shows a fly on the pitcher plant and it says fly on a smelly pitcher plant. Eating bugs. The bug lands on the plant. Pitcher plants have a special outside. The bug cannot hold on tight. It goes down inside the plant. And I see like all these little hairs here. I wonder if that has to do with why they can't stay on the outside of the plant or hold on. So the photograph shows the inside of the pitcher plant and like some bees and another bug that have fallen into this water. And the caption says, bug slipping into a pitcher plant. The plant is wet inside. It is so wet that the bug starts to fall apart. It breaks into little bits. The plant takes in these parts of the bug. That is how a pitcher plant eats a bug. So here's the photograph and it says bugs in the wet inside of a pitcher plant. <clears throat> a mouse or a frog can fall into a pitcher plant too. The plant eats the animal just like it eats a bug. A pitcher plant is always ready for its next meal. So here's a frog hanging outside of this pitcher plant. I wonder if he knows he's about to get eaten frog in a pitcher plant. All right, so that was it for our story. Let's go ahead and answer our questions and then we'll watch the video. So question one from page one of the passage, what does a pitcher plant do with bugs? A, it feeds them to animals. B, it gives them a special leaf. 
or C, it catches and eats them. So what does a pitcher plant do with bugs? Feeds them to other animals, gives them a special leaf, or catches them and eats them. Take a second and circle what you think is the best answer. All right, question two from page two of the passage. Why do bugs like pitcher plants? A, the plants have bright colors. B, the plants come to the bugs. Or C, the plants have ants on them. Question three from page three of the passage. How do brown and green pitcher plants bring in bugs? Complete the sentence. Bugs like the smell of the pitcher plants. Bugs like the bee shape of the pitcher plants. Or bugs like the C feel of the pitcher plants. So if they're brown and green, do they like the smell, the shape, or the feel. Question four from page four of the passage. What happens when bugs sit on the plant? A, they fall down. B, they land nicely. Or C, they walk in. All right, if you ever need to pause this video and go back to a page and look or re-listen to me read the passage, go ahead and do that if you need to, but we're going to keep moving on. Question five from page five of the passage. What happens after a bug falls into the pitcher plant? A, it makes the plant wet. B, it drinks. Or C, it breaks up. <clears throat> Question six from page five of the passage. How does the pitcher plant eat a bug? Complete the sentence. The plant A mixes with little bits of the bug. The plant B takes in little bits of the bug. The plant C bites into little bits of the bug. All right, question seven from page six of the passage. Which other animal might a pitcher plant eat? A, a monkey, B, a mouse, or C, a fish? Question eight from page six of the passage. How does the pitcher plant get food? A, it catches bugs. B, it chases bugs, or C, it falls on bugs. All right, so I have a little video for you of the pitcher plant eating an insect or some insects. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to here and we'll take a listen.
<clears throat> All right, if you would like to watch more of this video, um, this video is called The Carnivorous Plant That Feasts on Mice. So if you would like to watch more of that, you can. But thank you for joining us today and learning more about the pitcher plant. What do you think about the pitcher plant? Do you think it's cool? Do you think it's kind of scary? Do you think it's weird? I think they're pretty cool. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day, everyone.